Hello everyone, my name is Alan from Technology Moments and welcome to this video. I'll show you today our experience with this 4-port serial hub with USB connection. We'll show you how easy it is to connect as it is just a plug and play operation and we'll share with you an example of how to manage a unified switch or equipment that provides you with serial console interface. One great advantage is that you just connect your USB port and you'll be able to manage four devices at once. Before we start, it is important to mention that many times it is convenient to have an easy way to connect to more than one equipment without having to connect and disconnect serial cables. So this device may come handy for many network administrators. Others may be asking why console cables if you can directly connect through SSH using TCP IP. Well, there are many advantages. We'll just mention a couple through this video. It comes very well packaged and made out of strong materials. For sure, this hub was made to endure hard use. It includes the A mail to type B USB cable to connect it to your computer. The first time you connect it, it will be very quickly recognized. Uh, you will just need to let it sit for a few moments and it will download drivers automatically from the internet. So check that you are online. It will then identify the serial ports and this will be very important once you need to establish a serial connection to know which one your device is connected to. It has worked great and as we said, it is a fundamental tool for any network administrator or engineer who wishes to have an alternate connection method to console ports in switches and networking equipment. Let me show you a very quick example with Unify switches. This Unify switch uses a console port that is compatible with this serial communication uh, as many others from Unify. Other models use proprietary interface and some newer models do not include such port at all. So we're going to use this RJ45 to DB9 console cable and this opportunity with this Unify switch 24 port with support for PoE. For this purpose we use PuTTY as an SSH and Telnet client for Windows and we just have to check which port we're going to use and the parameters the device supports. Usually these parameters are specified by the manufacturer as we see right here. After selecting the correct parameters for which you need to be very careful which COM port you're going to be using, then you attempt connection. And then the authentication window pops up. You type the username and password and authenticate to the device. Then you'll be ready to command your device from its own CLI. For Unify equipment, this username and password is specified in the network application, formerly known as the network controller, which by the way, you need to keep track of and make sure not only that you have it active from the controller, but also that you know the password for your username. Typical commands you may use from the CLI range from just information or firmware upgrade and routing tables to reboot, something that with direct console connection, you'll even be able to monitor the whole process. Many other advanced configurations can also be done from here and that's why network administrators enjoy using it so much. If you're just starting to explore direct console connection, just double press the tab key to obtain the whole list of commands that you may use in Unify switches. And the command followed by the help instruction will guide you a little bit further. One implicit advantage of using direct console connection is that you bypass network problems and might give you certainty of troubleshooting with many commands you can run directly in the machine. Keep in mind that basically any device with console connectors will connect through these same cables and hubs, so the uses are quite diverse. Thanks for watching this video. As usual, we hope it was of great help if you're considering to buy one of these serial hubs. Remember that you support us by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. See you next time.